Police department could be facing a crisis if hundreds of police officers end up retiring this fall. On top of that, there's the issue of recruiting new officers during a global pandemic. New at 5, Amy Wattis sat down with Pittsburgh Police Chief Scott Schubert to find out how he plans to deal with it. Right now, there is just one class in training here at the Pittsburgh Police Academy on the north side, and Police Chief Scott Schubert says this could be the only class for a while due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the hiring freeze his department is facing. 286, that's the number of Pittsburgh police officers eligible for retirement this fall. But Police Chief Scott Schubert is remaining positive his department will be okay. This year, I think we're about 33. Uh, so far, we're the end of uh, August, and uh, I think most will probably wait until they get into 2021 uh, for additional benefits and in, in, uh, funding. But he says it's hard to say, especially in a time of protests and calls for police reform. There might be people who just are tired. Uh, you know, they got into this, and it just seems like they're not respected or appreciated. And, you know, a lot of it, unfortunately, is, is due to the sins of a few in our profession uh, who do the wrong thing. Schubert says the department is budgeted for around 900 officers. Currently, there's over 1,000, but if they dip below that number, he says that's a problem. What would we have to move around? What would we have to maybe services we can't provide because we just don't have the resources to, to do it? Schubert also says recruitment is down, a problem departments are having across the nation. FOP President Robert Schwartzwelder says these issues need to be addressed right away. If you have a bad apple, if you have a police officer that's, that's you know, violated their oath, you address that particular officer or that particular circumstance. You do not paint the profession with a broad brush. Police Chief Scott Schubert says you have to keep officers motivated. In addition to working with human resources, he says he's in the process of moving community engagement under his office involving projects like diversion, homelessness, and mental health. Reporting on the North Side, I'm Amy Wattis.